My name is Nikki. I'm an English makeup artist and I live with Carlo and our daughter Skye in Positano, Italy. Our house is far from the road but surrounded by fruit trees and olive groves and we grow our own food. We'll show you what it's really like to live on the Amalfi Coast. Subscribe and welcome to the Positano Diaries. The heat wave of last week has broken yesterday and we've decided to make most of it and go out for a drive along the coast, lunch in Amalfi or Atrani and a walk around. Carly is very excited. It sometimes takes quite a while to get anywhere because Carlo loves to stop and chat to anybody that he finds along the way. <laughs> We've just parked outside the Convento Hotel, which is just before Amalfi, as you can see. And we're going to go for a walk from here because it's beautiful. So there's Amalfi. Now we're going to walk this pathway up here, which starts just by the hotel garage. Stupidly, we have forgotten to bring a dog lead. Luckily, Carlo has a nice big elastic thing that will do. We are slowly going to make our way up these lovely steps. So this is one of my favourite walks to do in Amalfi. Also means we get to park our scooter free. And when we come back, we can walk along the port, along that road down there. And then we come up these steps here and back to the scooter. And of course it's lovely for Holly because she doesn't have to be on a lead here because there's no traffic. on the hill here is the convento obviously it used to be a convent it is now a beautiful hotel it's one of my favorite hotels on the Miami coast and I'm lucky enough to work there every now and again And handily, Carlo knows Francesco here who owns this little restaurant, La Piazzetta, and we're going to stop for some lunch. The nice thing about coming to eat where you know the owner of the restaurant is you don't even have to look at the menu because I never saw because they just say, would you like me to take care of the food? And you say yes, and they just bring you what they think you're gonna like. It's, that works obviously if you're not allergic to anything and if you eat anything, and we do. So he's just gonna bring us food. Sounds perfect. And we are starting off with a simple bruschetta. Always good, you can't go wrong with that. Look what has just arrived, and this is just a starter. Wow. Yeah. Little lamb is here, yeah. And this is spaghetti, spaghetti in cartoccia, which just means wrapped in paper.
How was lunch? Wow, fantastic. It was actually really, really good. Sí. I didn't expect that at all. And it was actually really nice to find somebody that Carlo knows and have lunch with him. Very nice. E Francesco è una persona meravigliosa. Yeah, he was lovely. So, sí. definitely recommend it. We are now making our way towards, or we are now getting lost. We're now making our way towards Atrani through the little Vicoletti and streets. There we go, that's the tunnel I was looking for. This is the tunnel that passes between Amalfi and Atrani. There's about 900 meters that separate Amalfi and Atrani. And this tunnel cuts right below both of them from one to the other, so you don't have to walk out on the road because there's no sidewalk on the road. Sidewalk pavement. And then just by this tunnel here, you can pass through down into the center of town. is definitely not going to fall asleep this afternoon. He's just had a coffee and now he's just come out the bar with a creme di caffè. Mm -hmm. This is an ice cream version of a coffee and it tastes like McDonald's milkshake. So we're in Atrani. It is the smallest municipality in the whole of Italy. The surface area of this town is only 120 meters by 120 meters. So that's 0.12 kilometers, kilometers squared and there's only 855 residents. It's very small and compact. It's all built on top of each other and we're gonna go and have a wander around now. It's starting to look a little bit stormy. There's a lovely breeze. Side of the main road here there is a little MC Escher exhibition because he was inspired by Atrani. If you go in here you can see some of his designs and pictures. We've just arrived back in the main little inner square here and we're now yeah. going to go up to the sanctuary of San, San Maria del Bando. From here you just have to go through this little archway and follow these signs. These are old Roman columns outside this house. We will be going that way, back towards Amalfi. <laughs> but for now, we're going to sì, keep on climbing. Sembra come la Svizzera qua. Non siamo dovuti passare tutti quei tunnel con l'auto, solo che poi li devi fare a piedi. Aspetta, quello era Basil. Basil, Basil. sì. Basilea, sì. Sì. Mm. At least I've got benches to rest on. But nowhere to put the bloody boo. Bianco nella roccia. 
son temporale. I haven't counted the stairs, but there's a good few hundred. That's for sure. At least it's not too hot today. Oh no! And then this happened. It's closed. We can't go in. Oh, Holly Paul, what are we going to do? Nick, we wanted to show you the monastery of Santa Lucia, or what it's called, and we didn't have it. Well, that was a success. <laughs> now we're going to go back to Amalfi. Okay. And you're going to bring your maglietta. Yes. Insomma, dove sta quella cosa sotto la montagna? Là? These are all lemon groves down here. Doesn't look like there's any lemons left, but it's August, so that's quite normal. The new baby ones will be growing in now. So now we are working our way back towards Amalfi rather than the Trani. I've never been down this little alleyway. Car is way ahead of me now, and it's just starting to rain. Actually, a really nice little walk if we didn't have to do it so fast. <sighs> Not gonna melt. Only water. Randomly, we've just found an elevator, <laughs> so we're in it. We've put putting in a euro, and it's taking us down. Who knows where we'll end up? Right now, where are we? And we're back in the tunnel, the best place to be when there's a thunderstorm. Well, we were very lucky we found that lift because it took us directly into the tunnel where we're now waiting for the rain to stop. Right, the rain's eased off a bit, so we're making a dash for it. We've got to go back and pick up a t-shirt that we bought for Carlo and I've asked the owner permission to show you the shop because it's a sweet little shop. See? Ah, this is where they learn to drive. Long time ago. <laughs> I love the stained glass window of this restaurant. show you one of my favorite shops in Amalfi. It is a little boutique and gallery and he makes his own t-shirts and they're really simple and just really lovely. Perfect for Amalfi, blue and white. We are just a little way up the main street opposite a fish shop. JP Boutique is there and it is right next to, to the shop with the chocolate fountain. Buongiorno. Buongiorno. Come va? Okay. Not bad, that's all. Lovely, this shop. Thank you. So, when did you open? Hey, this is a family business. Mm -hmm. uh, the store is on, on the main street of Amalfi since uh, the 83. Wow. And I just changed everything in my. Ah. Store. <laughs> yeah, it's really lovely. I found out about this from Laura from Chow Amalfi blog, okay. and she showed me some of the t shirts. And I was, I love this little fish design. So you design these yourselves, yeah, yeah? Yeah, I do all the patterns that you find as a print in a store that are all made by me. On the t-shirts, for men, for 
For women and for babies too. Let you see the babies? Oh. Oh, they're lovely. Very nice. Because my family was a family of fishermen. Ah, okay. So from that, and uh, I start to, to make uh, fishermen in another way. To be a fisherman as a graphic designer. Have you ever been a fisherman? Yeah, I, I, I fish sometimes. Yeah? <laughs> I can't say that I'm uh, great like my, my family, old family, but... But I, you like it? I do it, yeah, Okay. Sometimes. So Carlo is shopping in here today yeah, and has found this one, yeah. This yes. is a new collection. It's called, uh, I call it Pesci Satsi. That means it's a full fish. <laughs> full <laughs> full because, up uh, fish. This is a, a swollen yeah. print. Ah. A bit fat. Like a fish that just finished to eat pasta <laughs> on the mafficoli. Sazio significa quando sei pieno che Yeah, sazio means that you're full up from eating. Buy a little present for Rosie and Lainey. Yesterday was Lainey's birthday. She's just turned seven and I wasn't sure what to get her, but look what we've just found. These are perfect for them. And I'm going to get one for wow, Rosie too. Bello. Because as we know, Lainey and Rosie always wear matching outfits. So, I think that is perfect. It's more or less like her, but they're for children. Exactly. They're beautiful. They look like fresh anchovies. Like uh, anchovies. Anchovies. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so... <laughs> Carlo is just saying, so two, two full-up fishes, but Carlo's fuller. This is <laughs> And look how these t-shirts come wrapped up. Fish and chips! <laughs> Perfect. Wow. Now we're in this little side tunnel. This runs parallel to the high street in Amalfi. It's really easy to find. And Giampiero has a little art gallery boutique in here as well. So I'm going to show you inside that quickly. It's actually closed at the moment, but he's just opened it to give us a quick look. This is actually an old donkey stable and they've kept it very, very true to what it used to look like. Just in case the donkeys in the back, they've got some food. There's some beautiful local pottery here, ceramics, but in a very, very different pattern from normal. We've got the donkeys and the fish. These two gentlemen here are the guardians of the door and they are normally outside the entrance way, controlling who comes into the shop. This little plant holder here is actually a, um, a squid tail, or a local totany tail, which is the flying squid. That's exactly what their tails look like. I have just found something I absolutely love. Look at this. Oh, isn't that beautiful? All in all, lots of lovely things for when you need some gifts. And now it is time for ice cream and we like the ice cream at Andrea Panza. This is not the main pasticceria. <laughs> Somebody is desperate for my ice cream. This is just the chocolate and ice cream part of Panza. The rest of the bar is way over there, in the yellow building. Anche Olly vuole il suo gelato. Solo un piccolo poco, solo da leccare. Uh. We are just finishing our ice creams and wasting a little bit of extra time so that the streets dry out. Because obviously we've got to drive back to Positano and it has poured and poured with rain and we're on a scooter so nobody likes driving on wet roads, especially these roads. So once it's a little bit drier, which should be fairly soon, I can see it starting to dry already. We will start heading back home. Potevi fare questo video lontano da me che sto il gelato? Non è giusto. Ah no, qui è molto buono. Molto
have you had a nice day? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It's been a very nice day. I feel like tourists. Tourists at home. What a strange place to sunbathe. I'm not sure if I'd want to sunbathe and swim right in the middle of the port. Um, we're just climbing up the steps that lead from the port back up to the road next to the Hotel Convento. Very pretty it is too. We both have rather wet squelchy sandals at the moment. I think my sandals were made for this water. It's a shame I should have worn my other ones. My other ones are saltwater sandals, which are made to go in the water. But I didn't think to put them on today. Who knew it was going to pour with rain? Yeah, that was not too bad at all. Oh, now let me concentrate on walking and I'll see you later.